Okay, so this afternoon my video is my ceramic dishware that I used to cook my scallop potatoes and you can see how on the edge there's a lot of food left over. So what I did is because it was pretty cooked on there I soaked this overnight and I let it sit in the sink so that some of this would soften up. So the biggest most important thing to remember is when you're using your fibers, whether you're using the duo cloth like this that is the oil lifter or this side that does the scraping and removing of all that stuck um, food that's on there, or if you're using your scrubby, you have your options. You could use both. These are the exact same fiber on this side. It's just the back that's different, but it's also size. So this one is great to hold in your hand like this, but this one I love because I can fit perfectly into my hand like that. So the key now is, do you want to put all of this into your fiber and then you need to remove it out of your fiber or if you have one of these little handy things because I have a lot of stoneware I love these because this takes away all of that stuff that might be on there and then I clean afterwards using my duo cloth so I'm going to show you by adding a little bit of water on here and in my 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 container here so all I do is just scrape off all of this food that's on here because 100% you can definitely use this fiber, but I don't want to use that fiber if it's already soft like this and this tool came with my stoneware. So all I'm doing is scraping off the food that's sort of there because that's a lot because why would I want to put this on here, right? So I'm going to remove this and then I'm going to put a little bit of water and take out all that food that's dirty because again, you don't need to put that in your fiber because then you need to take it out of this fiber because then you're going to have to wash it, which you do anyhow, but it's more work if you're doing that. So I'm not going to do this side here, but I'm just going to show you how with cold water, I wet my fiber like this. If it's really dirty, lots of water, not so dirty, a little bit of water. So I put lots of water on here. And I can keep the water that's in here if I want because I can continue to just reuse it to do the whole thing. So I'm only doing this portion here because you can see better. So look at, so I'm going to gently with my glove go over, or not my glove, my dual cloth, which is the same as the glove. So I'm going to take this out and show you how simple and easy it is using this fiber. So. See that? This is some of the particles that came off of there that I picked up. So there we go. It is as easy as that to use your duo cloth to pick up oils. You're going to use cold water and the oil's going to trap here. But if you need to scrape, you can use this side. So now if I was to do this side now using this fiber, I'll show you the difference. So can I use it like this? Definitely. Does it make a difference? Not really. It's your choice. So see how this is? This is what this fiber does. Very gentle, very easy. Clean off your pan using the annual duo cloth, either by using that little brown scrapey thing to remove it, or you're going to use it like this. So if I was to rinse this out now, I'll show you all the food that is on there. And in my... Um, out potatoes that I made I actually used a few different ingredients so there was actually a little bit of a yellow um, because it has turmeric in it so you can see how there's hardly anything left here this is the dirt from my water I'm going to drain that out add a little more cold water and rub it up together like this to loosen up anything that could be in my fiber. And with a lot of water, I'm gonna go over it again a final time so that I can get my pan perfectly clean and remove all of the food that's in there, including some of the olive oil. And then I'll do a final rinse, remove this, and show you how perfectly clean this is using zero dish soap. Listen to this. This is how you use the duo cloth to clean a pan. So now what I'm going to do with my orange blossom, if you've watched some of my videos, you've seen me talk about this a lot. 
orange blossom will clean out this fiber. So I'm going to put a couple drops just on there, add some hot water, and then I'm going to show you when you wash it out, whatever is in that fiber. So I just rub it like this. I don't know, I just, you, you find your way, but I just rub it onto itself like that because that's where I put the soap. Use some of that water, not a lot of water. If you feel that you need to add some soap to the back side too, you can. But see how like some, some, some of my clients go, oh, Natalie, it's so much work, you're using so much water. It's not, it's really, really simple because you really don't have to use much water. So now I'm gonna roll this because you never wanna twist it. You're gonna roll it and there we go. Here is what was left in here from when I cleaned this pan, but I am completely satisfied that I will be removing all the dirt that's inside of here so that I can use it over and over again. This never smells. This never has a buildup in it because I just do that final step using my orange blossom to clean out my dual cloth. If you have any concerns and you have one of these fibers or a skin zone fiber and you say to me, Natalie, I'm not sure my fiber's working, please do me a favor. Call me, message me, come over, drop them off at my front door. I will clean them out for you and show you exactly how to do it. So there we go. This is how you do the dual cloth on a casserole dish, which is ceramic or cast iron or stoneware without using any chemicals to clean because it really works mechanically with this fiber and that's it. Have a great day, everyone.